so much for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching The Power Talk Show. Now, we've been having very interesting conversations on here for the past few months. So last week, we were just having a conversation on how we can better understand the Gen Zs. And it's something that people have been inquiring about because so many things have been coming up. And we just wanted to know, can we really understand the Gen Z? Because we see the trends are different. And on that note, we've been commemorating the Men's Mental Health Awareness Month throughout June. And this is something that has been coming up recently because mental health awareness has been a conversation that's been taking up space for the past few years. And we want to focus on the men's mental health because men usually deal with things a bit different from the way women and children and other uh, people can deal with issues. So I want us to look at some statistics of a study that was done recently and then I will introduce the guests that we have in studio today. So according to the Red Cross Kenya, we have 40% of Kenyan men who have never spoken about their mental health. And then men are four times likely to commit suicide and um, it makes up to 80% uh, of all suicide cases. So that is four times more likely than the female gender. And that's a high percentage. 80% is a very, very high percent. And we have one in 10 men who experience depression and half receive treatment, which is a lot, considering one in 10 men is also a very large statistic. Um, um, the next fact that we have is during mental, uh, mental breakdown, men can experience mental health issues, including depression, anxiety, stress, and substance abuse. So these are some of the coping mechanism, the mechanisms and ways that uh, mental issues can manifest in your life through depression, anxiety, stress. So these are signs to look out for, to know that you are depressed. Uh, the first sign that we have to look at is, um, the first sign to look at is change in behavior, which usually includes increased irritability, anger, or withdrawal from social interactions. That's the first sign to tell that you are depressed. The next sign is emotional changes, including persistent sadness, hopelessness or feeling worthless so these are just things that come up when you're feeling depressed you you your mood changes your attitude changes the way you react and the way you interact with people and spaces around you is different and so many people don't actually know that they're depressed so many people do not know they're dealing with anxiety or they're battling some mental health issues particularly for the men because there's a culture of the men have to toughen up they have to be the man whatever that means so i want us to get into this conversation and meanwhile you can go on our platforms at y254 across all socials we've posted a question so engage with us let us know how you deal with your mental issues let us know what mental issues you've been experiencing and uh, on that note i have two lovely gentlemen in studio with me one is not a guest anthony jenga is uh, part of the family part of the power talk family mm -hmm. and anthony has been with us for so long you're a counseling psychologist yes. and you're here to talk to us about the professional aspect of mental health yes karibu sana thank you so much I'm glad to be here. Yeah, it's always a pleasure yeah. to have you. And you look lovely. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, you. You may be improving my mental health. On a light Period. note. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm improving someone's mental health. <laughs> yeah. And right next to Anthony, we have Austin Mandela, yes. who is an engineering student. So we want to get the perspective of a young man as well as a professional who are in the field, who are actively dealing with issues that may come up. So once again, I want you to go on our socials, particularly the men. If you're a lady, you're watching this, ukona bradako, ukona bonako, boyfriend, whoever, go on social media and let us know. Maybe ask them to post or ask them how do they deal with their issues. Do they talk to someone? Do they have a friend group? Do they have a therapist? We want to understand how we can better improve mental health, particularly for the men. And on that note, mm -hmm. I think what chat one's in the... the <coughs> expert on this matter. Mm -hmm. Anthony, you've been a counseling psychologist for the past uh, about so four, four years. years. Mm -hmm. And 
why would you pick counseling psychology? Because it's something that in the recent years, it's been uh, enhanced and people are taking it more seriously. Mm -hmm. But why would you go into mental health? Why would you venture into that field as a man? Okay, thank you for that question. Uh, for me, counseling, eh? uh, it's like more of a passion. And the way it started from is, uh, because uh, apart from me being a counseling psychologist, I'm a mental health advocate or a mental health champion. We are, I advocate for people being open enough to open, uh, open up about how they feel. And if they cannot really do the same, now they can go to a professional. And that is when now I came to realize and I did my research here and there. And I came to realize that what wanna capitia? People are going through so much. Not only the women also, but also the men are going through so much. And uh, someone had to just stand in the gap for all these issues that are dealing with mental health illness. And uh, I saw I'm the fit person to be there. So it, it has come, it came to me with, uh, from a point of not sympathy, like Nilianza Kurumi, I want to join a capitia, no. From a point of I, empath I, I empathize. You know, empathy is trying to uh, get into this person's, you know, phenomenal, in psychology, trying to get into this person's phenomenological world, eh? uh, and trying to see what they're going through. But uh, as a professional, you're not supposed to stay there for so long. Once you have helped them, jump out of it. Because at the end of the day, you need to remember this is your profession to protect. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, for me, mental health is a passion, and I'm so passionate about talking and telling young people to really be open about how they feel and they should not bottle up uh, their emotions and feelings. Yeah. And uh, I'm so glad to be in this journey and this profession. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's so good because mm -hmm. you noticed there was a gap in the industry. Yes. And you decided to fill that gap. Yes. And you've been doing it for so many years and you've been helping so many people. Mm -hmm. And I think we are really appreciative Thank you. of that. Now, Austin, I know mental health conversations have been uh, coming up recently. Me, growing up, I don't think I used to hear about mental health like that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't such, uh, I don't know, it wasn't a comfortable conversation to have with the older generations. Mm -hmm. Do, did your parents ever talk to you about <coughs> mental health issues? Did they give you the awareness or where did you get the awareness that we have mental health issues and we need to address them? Hey, first of all, eh? <laughs> you <laughs> depression. Anyways, yeah, um, I've been depressed before. I was depressed before, but it's a conversation in my, my parents are quite young at all, or anyone who didn't grow up here. But uh, growing up, when you were depressed, I was depressed. I was depressed and I was depressed. Because I didn't have a lot of issues that I didn't have to deal with before. From childhood, traumas, and all of that, until I was born. You understand? Um, so I was grow up and I was realize, eh, hey, I think I was a place where I need to nafa ku deal na hii issue kwanza. So ili kuwa ngumu kwangu kwanza at first kwa sababu siju as a man siju kwanza kama nafa kushiana mse. You understand? Siju kama nafa kushiana mse. Ju society pia inaniambia be a man, yeah? Mm -hmm. Siju kama nafa kuambi kuongelesha my mom kuhusu issues zangu za man. You understand? Same case to my dad. Siju kama naweza. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So uh ilifika two point nika have ku deal nayo. Nika have ku deal nayo kama kama mwanaume. But siku chukua rauti ya enye nasikia Anthony ya kiongelelea na sema be open. Kwa sababu, no, I, I've tried being open, but I don't think it worked. I don't think it works for, personally, ni vizuri tuko na Anthony hapa tatuelezea, but I don't think it works for men. Yo, mm -hmm. being open, yeah. I think as a man, unafatu deal na issues zako kukandu, kuja tukiwa sawa. Na sasa hapu kwa deal na issues zako, hapo mm. unadilaje na hizo issues? Because yep. you know, the way we've, we've just had a look at it, and I've, I've talk to therapists before and sometimes they tell you you don't even know when you're depressed you may not know when you have anxiety ama sijuinini unaweza kosa kukuwa aware that what i'm feeling right now is mm. depression una feel too you're tired fatigued you're not motivated so anthony could mm. you give us from the perspective particularly for the men mm. because venye venye anasema austin anasema kuna watu wengi wanaume wanaanguanga kaa gumu Mm. So when you get to some point, yes. you don't know, should I talk about it? Should I ask someone what mm. I'm going through? Mm. So we've just seen some signs of yeah. depression. Yeah. But what leads you to depression? And what are some of the ways that you can take note and say, okay, maybe I need to step back. Uh, let me start by saying this. Huh? I agree kidogo with what you're saying. Huh? But I think uh, it's, it's a misconception that uh, men try to convince themselves eh? or try to make themselves feel, feel better 
But uh, one thing that I know, it's okay for a man to open up. And the reason why most men don't uh, really advocate for opening up, there are two of some various reasons. The first reason is the cultural perspective of it. Culture, we all are, we are, we are all from different cultures. Eh? And there's a certain culture that is uh, in a kufunza tu yani mwaname lazima ukwetu mwaname utafe na apuka yengumu. And uh, not only the cultural perspective, even from the people we see in our culture. Not just sasa, uh, there are certain cultures that wamea mini sasa lazima utafe na apu yani. In one way or another, lazima upambana ntu na hali yako. You know? So that is what they were told before. And one thing we need to appreciate uh, this is something I need to tell you guys. We need to appreciate that time in a song. Generations are moving. The generation that was there, still connected to boomers, generation X. The, uh, in a way, I'm not saying they were illiterate, but what I'm trying to say is, Akuko na to as much. Kuluko na our madaktari, wale jumiti shamba and stuff. You know? But it was not really a concern uh, when someone akuko na challenge. Kuluko na ambio too tough enough, kwa sababu ume emulate what Actually, your parents emulated what they saw from their parents. Yeah. The parents of their parents, so it, it is something that has, so it has to do with the cultural perspective and also the family background. Also, you have not all families, uh, for example, from his perspective, when you say, the mental health, there are families that are educated and they really educate their children about opening up even from a very young age. Mm. You know? I think let's hold that yeah. and then we'll circle back to it. Okay. Because the, the, you're bringing up very important points. Yes. So, watch out to Rudy Apple. Okay. I love to answer Apple with depression. Because when you're not saying that depressed, you can realize that you're depressed. Yes. So, how can you tell? 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 It's not just stress. Ama it's not nini. It's mm -hmm. actually something deeper. Mm. Now, let me start from this perspective of a man. Because we're talking about men. Eh? Uh, is it research that has shown that there are two things that normally affect a man? Finances and family. Or finances and relationship. Mm. So, pesa na familia ama relationship. Either could be relationship with your friends, relationship with your close family, relationship with your partner. Those are some of the things that affect men. Ukiangalia nyuma, there is this, you know, OCPD mwenyali shoot the magistrate and everything. It was a love triangle kind of affair. Mostly when you look at things, most men are affected by money and are affected by relationship, as I've said. So, so how a man knows that he issue, na most men ina kuanga pesa, na unapata ni pressure tunajipati anga kama wanaume, not ourselves only, but also from also what the society has taught us. Yeah. And also the people we involve ourselves with, including the ladies. Kuna very important conversation leo nataka tuguzilia na nitagonga takanyanga shikingo yote ni manize. Tunataka hiyo openness. Yes, because Honestly speaking, eh, the women we have in this society are not making it safe for men to open up. Sure. Truth be told, not yeah. all, I'm not saying all women, but some women. And you find that if you're that kind of woman who does not let your man be open enough to you, and maybe he, uh, uh, he's the first person, I'm a, you're the first person he can go to, then how will it be? You see? So I think what you need to understand as a man is first of all, Look at what is really affecting you. If it is finances, kama mwaname what I believe, don't beat yourself too much. Kama hauna, hauna. There is a certain, uh, kuna kitu inaenda around of social media, kisema mwaname kama hauna pesa, keep away from a relationship, like romantic relationship. Trust me, it's true. Kama hauna pesa as a man, relationships require a lot of work. Unless you padena de mwenye, atakubali mgrona. Na ina ningumu. Siku hizi ningumu. Siku hizi watu anataka ningumu. 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 Package. Yeah, so for, <laughs> men, for men, what how, how uh, depression comes up is number one, same kama ni finances. Unapata sasa uyu mtu anajipatia pressure too much, anakuwa na ile prolonged sadness, anafeel ni kama sasa, hakuna mtu na understand. So in, in, in short, ananza kuji withdraw, hata from, from people. And this is a fact. Most men find friendship in alcohol. And that's why you'll find the most men in. Do your research and the most bars and the most whatever lounges in the corner, pombe and everything, na was chana na something of the sort. So there are some men who believe when they are stressed, the only way I can deal with my stress is if I drink or if I use drugs or if I go sleep with a woman. But mm. that can never sort your issue. Mm. That is a very bad way of trying to cope with your issue. Yeah. Yes. I like that. Mm. I like when you to make a few different aspects. So we'll circle back to the aspect okay. of 
the cultural uh, perspective, uh, perspective yeah. and the, the root cause mm -hmm. of why, especially kwa African society. Mm. Unajo African men unakwaka too expected to, to utafena. I do, mi ushindwa, what is being mm -hmm. a man? Like how can you define be a man? So on that note, when you're, una, una, you're studying engineering, mm -hmm. it's a very demanding course, sure. I assume. Sure. And there was, I, I just thought about this. There was a film I watched when I was younger and it was based in India, where people were being pressured to be engineers, like the men unenda engineering, women unenda kwa doctor. And the pressure ilikuwa inafanya so many people commit suicide because either they're not pursuing their dreams, ama what they're chasing, the grades are zingiani, the, the workload is too much, there are so many things. So I wonder, in your school, with your classmates, with your colleagues, do you ever notice that wakona either anxiety, wakona depression, wakona any mental health issues, do you notice them expressing that? Do they talk about it? Or how is it there? Uh, one thing, yeah, about engineering, most of the people, when you, or the gender in Yenafanya engineering, ni, ni men, mostly, yeah. But the thing is, when you want kama kama unaweza realize wasio kwa under pressure ni ngumu sana ku realize kwa sababu kila mtu siku hizo wasio wamejua wamejua ku mask hiyo kitu ya eh msema msema amejua kuvaa vizuri kutokea wasio wanaona tu wako sawa you understand but the reality is yeah kuna kuanga na pressure kuna kuna kuanga na pressure kwa sababu let's say mko kwa class ya watu kama 10 teacher anafunza hata mimi saa zingine najipata ngapo teacher anafunza sijishiki anything inanipatia hiyo pressure kwa sababu Na, 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 naona kama kila msea anashika ni mimi sishiki mpaka najiona mm. ama nimechukua ama nilichukua nimechukua kusumbaya let me tell you something nilikuwa nimesha defer this course for a while for like a year mm. kwa sababu nilikuwa naona ni kama najipush kwa kitu yenye sio mimi nilikuwa nataka kufanya na kwenye umesema ni ngumu ni ngumu mm. yeah so kuna kwanga na hiyo pressure but watu wana mask eh, watu wana feature especially wise. especially for men mm wewe tumejua tu kumask ya una, una, una show up tu vile huko yeah. yeah, and you know that that makes me feel sad because you know, with this new generation, what we a bit more open, or let's say the ladies are a bit more open because now we have technology, we have, you know, therapists, we have these platforms. And you mean as long as AI, na itani patia some comfort, you know, ama ni patia some advice. So it's so hard to think that men are still masking behind a facade of nikosawa sifai kuonyesha. So, Anthony, mm -hmm. what would you advise the men to do? Because so many men are still holding that perspective of, I don't want to go to a therapist, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. Do you help as a therapist? Does it help? Does it make a difference? Uh, let me start by saying this. Eh? Uh, in, um, actually, most men don't really come for therapy. Uh, I can count the number of men who come for therapy. Most people who come for therapy are uh, women. And there's, there's a research that shows, you might disagree, more women are affected by depression than men. Why? Because now, uh, for this woman, you, you ladies, you guys talk, jamas and stuff and everything. So as much as you guys are affected by depression, most men now die with the same. You might be affected, but you guys find ways to yeah. talk to your fellow ladies. But for men, they're bottling it up. We bottle up to a point in Africa and explode because now the issue with a, with a man, if a man is going through a particular situation, um, uh, they might be angered. Unapata hasira, hasira yenye ata, and ukiwana yu hasira, kitu yenye unatole, yu hasira ni mtumwe ama kitu yenye ifai. You know, in, in, in a psychology it's called projection. You project your angers to what you should not be there, maybe to a person. That's why you hear cases of domestic violence, intimate partner violence. So if you're a man, I think it's high time we erase this stigma that talking to someone is a sign of weakness. And as much as mo not most men come for therapy, therapy is very important. I'm here to advocate for counseling because counseling is not the only thing you can do to help yourself. There is self-cope and there's therapy. Uh, before we started the show, I was using an example of a, of a doctor. For example, if you're sick, ukona malaria, what you'll do, you go to the hospital, utafanyu your tests because you'll be concerned, because you'll start having physical changes and tans are feel headaches and everything. Udafanyu a test, then utapewa dawa. Uyo daktari ni kama example ya therapist. But now ukipatiwa yu dawa, yu dawa kwa therapy depends. Uh, now there are two types of uh, therapists. Eh? Actually, there are two types of mental health professionals. There's a psychologist, and there's a, there's a psychiatrist, a psychologist, and there's a therapist or a counselor. Mm -hmm. 
Now in in psychology the, the psychologist mostly clinical psychologist ama psychiatrist watakupatia hiyo dawa kama vile tu daktari anafanya. And and us as therapists or psychotherapists or counselors we do talk therapy. Now hiyo talk therapy ni information unajua. Venye nimekwambia ukipata malaria unaenda kwa daktari unapewa dawa hiyo dawa ni kama hiyo talk therapy na hiyo dawa unapatiwa na hiyo psychiatrist ama clinical psychologist. But it is upon you to decide whether you're going to take these medications because for you to get better huyu daktari ameangalia vizuri akasema as much as nimekufanyia test and everything when i give you this dawa utakuwa poor but ni wewe uamwe vinye kama utatika kama utatika so it's important you guys to understand therapy does work counseling does work don't feel like ukienda kwa therapist ataanza kukujaza kutumaribio jina huku nje Cheryl they are therapists who are not competent they are not professional na wanafanya anga tu hata wako trained mtu ametoka tu amefanya ame guidance aka short course ya 2 months ya 3 months anajiita counselor for you to be a counselor you must be licensed you must actually go through a training of not less than one year mm. and you must be licensed hata kama utakuwa student counselor because there are bodies kuna di body ya serikali na kuna KCPA mm. so you can't just call yourself a counselor so hawa wana tuaribia juu wanafanya kitu wifi because for us as counselors as therapists most people expect when they are coming to us or clients when they are coming to us they expect solutions for a professional therapist or a competent therapist we don't give solutions what we do is you as a client you are the expert of your story you bring to me your solution and i'm here to guide you until that solution i'm to guide you to the right path mm. towards that particular issue that you have brought to me so yeah. therapy is very important and it's good and it does work to some people it does work to the men who have come to me for therapy i can i can tell you for a, for free and for a fact they have come out much better than how they were mm. yes because sometimes you see even for us ladies naza kwa stressed because i'm looking at things from my perspective but then i'll go and sit with my girlfriends mm. and then share alafu uya ni party opinion nini nini sometimes your sharing helps sometimes getting that opinion because maybe ni kitu najua but nataka mtu afahamu uh, niambie maybe you should try this or maybe you should do that so in some ways mm -hmm. a therapist gives you the platform to talk about it and maybe gives you some pointers but it, there's something i can say and rakuchaka na nakumbuka eh. kitu uh, uh, from you what tukianza alikuwa amesema hakuoneshwa hifo mm. growing up ndio sasa eh wait you we see? are getting there <laughs> and that's what i want to ask eh? him because yeye hata alituambia you know Austin told us he doesn't eh. believe therapy works and because you don't even believe in for talking man. about it okay <laughs> tuseme for you <laughs> for me <men>. tu, tuanze na <laughs> ama guys wanaume wenye mnaamini therapy pay work to go on there let us know why you think it doesn't work so given and that they tell us also why do you think they think that it yeah. works for those who have gone it's about the negative perspective okay what are to party solutions oh. so if talking about it doesn't work cuz i want us to start, circle back and get to your father what perspective alikupatia what persona he gave when he was coming home and having issues oh. but before that umesema how windy therapy you don't really talk about it you find ways to deal with your depression what are these ways what are some of the ways that you find to cuz unaona when anthony and trombia unaweza project oh. because labda uko na frustration uko na anger ume bottle up all those emotions oh. so where do you channel all your emotions through uh, okay first yeah kuna kitu ya maana alisema mostly kitu yenye nasumbua na ume wengi ni story na finance na relationships yeah so mimi naambia anga every man kitu ya kwanza live within your means mm -hmm. yeah hiyo ni hiyo ni kitu ya kwanza itakupatia peace in the first place yeah kama una kula elfu mbao jua nyumba yenye utaingia kama ni elfu tatu ama elfu nne kwanza yeah mama nzenyu unataka kukutembea karibu na au sitembe na mama nzipi yenye watakutoanisha sana mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. tembea na te, tembea na wale sitaki kuwasema vienyeji mm -hmm. wale wenye <laughs> <laughs> wale wenye wana, wataku understand mm -hmm. kwa hiyo moment yeah kitu kingine kwa nini mimi si believe person mimi hii ni yangu eh Anthony si mm. hope si ribi mm. Anthony mm. market ah, so. <laughs> moni yako <laughs> i don't think uh, the way mimi naitanga the way culture works for men understand as in nikae tu hivi nianze ku project feelings zangu towards someone up i believe in fixing the issue nimekuwa depressed before na most of the things hata ukiangalia zenye nilikuwa depressed nazo ni to fit ni issues zenye maybe sikuwa ni sikuwa nimemaliza ku deal nazo sijui kuna aunty yangu alinyemanga chakula nikiwa mtoto mm. sijui babangu alinipiganga bure sijui kuna mwalimu mm. alinichapanga bure hizo ndi issues zenye mm. una deal deal tu nazo hapo tu na hapo ya yeah? itakuwa rahisi for you sasa ku kwa sababu usipopea deal na hizo issues hauta move okay another thing yenye 
enye mi ili work for me sana ni ni yuko kuji lock in a way si, siambi kila mtu aji lock but mi ni yuko kuji lock kuji 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 jua kuji kuji vet kuangalia ni nini hizo zinakusumbua hizo ni issues gani zenye zina ku drag bado chini exercise in a work mm -hmm. yeah uh, reading uh, spiritual books naweza sema for me the bible worked for mm -hmm. me yeah. yeah but mm -hmm. I, i i don't believe that kuka kwa sababu umeuliza swali swali ya maana tangu nikuwa mtu hii babangu alilipatia perspective gani my dad alikuwa wale wasiate mwenye ataingia anze ku project issues ni nini 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 alikuwa tu anaingia ata chill mm -hmm. yeah you understand yeah. atatulia tu atakuwa mwanaume hata ambia mtu shida zake actually my dad nilikuja kujua tu later maybe ndiye alikuwa na maisha zake but hakuwa itoonyesha and i think pia maybe ndio njenye nilichukua inawe Yeah. So I want us to take a very short break and then mm. circle back with that. Nataka tuanze tuangalie mm. wazazi wetu walifanyaje, grandfathers wetu walikuaje. Then we can understand how we can be better in this current generation and for even our sons and you know our nephews and people like that. So let's take a very short break. The question to me on social media is do you think a man should be open? Should they open up and talk about their issues and who should they even talk to? So I want you to go on our social at Y254, tuambie comment yako, opinion yako, and stay tuned because tukirudi, tunitika kuona how we can find solutions because we've just touched on a bit, but we'll unclose more as we come back. So stay tuned to Y254 TV. This is the Power Talk Show.